1972, a patent for a product called Quick Kill came about in Texas, and that was the traditional kill cord that you know today. It started off in the 1950s in outboard racing in the States, and then progressed to that patent, and now obviously is available on every single boat out there. It's a number one piece of kit. Obviously you want your life jacket and your kill cord worn at all times. But for 2021, there's something a little bit cool. It's called the First Mate. So, this is what we're fitting today. It is the uh, Mercury Marine First Mate system. This comes where you have a captain's thob, you have the passenger unit, and you also have the um, captain's wristband. And this operates similar to a kill cord. Now, Mercury also say you should also wear your kill cord traditionally, but in something like the Axo part, it's brilliant for me where, especially if I'm captaining the boat single-handedly and I'm just walking around the boat on my own, I've got the wrist brand on and I know that I'm safe. Also, with the passenger ones, you can know that your crew, your kids, etc., are all safe if they hit the water. It also acts as a theft deterrent because it has an immobilizer built into the system as well. So you have two options. You have the red um, version and you have the black version of the first mate. The difference being is that one is for the skipper and the driver of the boat, the helmsman, and then you have your passengers as well. And all of your family can be wearing one of these as well. So it gives an extra level of protection. On the red version, the skipper's version, uh, you can have it set up in your app so that as an emergency contact, um, similar to say an Apple Watch where you have uh, fall detection, you will be able to set it up so an emergency contact is alerted when you fall in the water. Now this is really handy because it means that not only do you have an emergency contact if you're to fall in, obviously something that a traditional kill cord does not do, however, this also sends a longitude and latitude position of a search radius to allow the Coast Guard um, and emergency services to come and find you. So it gives that extra level of protection and also really comforting to know for family and loved ones of those that may be at sea on their own that um, they really have got that sort of big brother kind of safety feature on board the boat. You can have them in a wristband like this, so it looks like a sort of a Fitbit or Apple Watch. And then you can also have it in this lanyard clip, um, so you can have it on your life jacket, etc. Um, all set to go. This one, the moment you fall in the water and we've set up the zones on the boat, and what you do is you press uh, on the app, um, sort of like your zones of your boat, so it can get the measurements of uh, the size of the craft. Now I've actually put it over a meter over the, sort of the side of the boat because I'm doing fishing. I kind of tend to hang over the side when I'm doing fenders and um, jumping onto the pontoon, etc. So I don't want the thing to be cutting out at that kind of point. So for that, I've just given it myself a bit of an extra boundary as a top tip from EP Barris who have been fitting it today. And then we have uh, this one. Now, the difference really between the two is that if I fall in wearing this one, um, it's gonna cut the engine. It's gonna give that man overboard and it's going to be able to notify all your emergency contacts. With this one, it sets an alarm off inside that somebody's fallen overboard and it also notifies you on the app of their location, but it doesn't cut the engine because in theory, the captain is still at the helm. So you should be able to go back and get the person that's had the MOB. Um, so this one isn't gonna cut the engine. This one is gonna act more like a traditional kill cord, but with all those extra features as well. So you can buy multiple captain's ones. So if you're a couple, for example, and you want to, I think it is three of these you can get, or seven of these as passengers. So if you all want captains, then yeah, the first two people on the boat can have these as well. So you've got that kill cord feature, which is kind of nice. Um, other than that, it's really easy to set up the app. All you need to do is go through the instructions and it will pair them um, and link it to your control hub actually on the boat. So really super easy, just follow the instructions um, and you're good to go. The measurements are only really done on this one and then it finds the passenger one as well. So within a couple of minutes, it's done. On our one, we had a few software updates. So we had about 10 minutes of software updates on our phone. Other than that, it was all good to go. 
So there we have it. We've got um, our new First Mate system installed on the boat. We also have some scan strut bits and some other accessories that we've added onto the craft. We've also updated the Mercury Vessel View system ready for the winter. So it's looking pretty good and the boat is all set up, ready to get to sea again.